Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining the Sheffield Society of Architects and RIBA Yorkshire and Hatch today for this uh, talk for the Sheffield Steel Pandas. Um, we are very pleased to welcome David Way from all the way from Shanghai today um, to uh, to talk to us about how the pandas came to be. I don't know whether anyone's had the opportunity to go down and have a look at the pandas at the new era development, um, but they really are a little ray of light in what's quite uh, grey and dank weather uh, at the moment. So nice to get out and, and see something vibrant. The landscaping around there is looking fantastic and um, there's some really nice restaurants popping up around New Era as well. So it's a really nice place to be. Uh, so I won't speak too much. Um, I just wanted to, um, to tell you about a couple of events that we've got coming up with the Society. We've got our, our CPD sessions continuing into the new year. Um, we're going to be looking at a session with uh, Susan Crowley, um, planning consultant, um, and uh, we've also got some more virtual building visits in the in the pipeline. Uh, so we'd be really pleased to, to see you at some of those sessions. So uh, watch out for emails coming your way and you can also refer to our, our website too. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to introduce you to uh, David Way of Hatch, who will take you through today's presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Lenora. Thank you, SSA and all the audience. It, it is my pleasure um, to share, you know, the story of the panda uh, with all of you. Uh, is it is they started? Hello, can you hear me? Uh, we can't see your slides yet, David. OK, let me let me let me start sharing my screen. Perfect, got you. Okay, everything is set. You can hear me, can you? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, shall I start? Yes, please, go ahead, David, thank you. Okay, yes. Okay, so first of all, it's my uh, pleasure and honor to share the story of, the, of this uh, panda, big, huge panda in Sheffield with you guys. So it is the artwork and the installation design uh, we have done this year. Um, I'm David Wei, and um, I used to spend eight years uh, in London, uh, study in UCL uh, Ballard School of Architecture, and I used to work in Norman Foster as well. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Hatch and design director of, uh, you know, of Hatch as well. So chapter one, let me quickly introduce me, um, yes, uh, I'm a river, a river architect. I qualified on in London on 2008. And also at the moment, I'm the China chapter, Riba China chapter committee member. So, um, um, so I had a lot of experience in the UK. So I really wish I can go back uh, there, uh, you know, in the very near future. Uh, this is my uh, university uh, tutor Peter Cook, he's the, uh, you know, one of the starter of the Archigram. So I learned a lot, you know, radical thinking, you know, creative uh, design thinking. You know, I had a really good experience, uh, you know, two years in diploma in ballot. And uh, uh, from 2008 to 2010, I used to work in Norman Foster. Uh, you know, this is one of the significant projects I used to work on, which is the Apple Park. Uh, you know, uh, there was a, like 40 -ish people team. Uh, we have done like more than 100 schemes uh, for Steve Jobs, for Steve Jobs. But uh, eventually he picked the, you know, the simplest one, which is the, which is the ring. You know, this is the, you know, uh, completed photos. Um, our our Asian headquarters is based in Shanghai, and we have a mission, which is to use creative design to empower, you know, people's life and work. Uh, our office is in the downtown area of Shanghai, which is very, you know, this interior is done by us, very archi architect style interior is like very minimum, very, very black and white. 
Um, we are we are doing some interesting project at the moment in China. Uh, so first of all, it's a it's a molecular bi biologist, you know, science park. The the concept is the the green terrace. This one is in the southern part of China, very close to Shenzhen. And it, it is uh, under construction. It's going to be uh, completed on 2021. And this is another one in Shanghai. It's an adaptive reuse project, which is very popular now. And it's going to be even more popular in China because we have almost finished the, you know, massive infrastructure development. So it's, it's going to enter into the adaptive reuse or urban regeneration stage. So this is a complete photos for the for the courtyard. Uh, another sector we are good at is the um, hospitality. This is the you know a boutique hotel in the really uh, very nice countryside of China in Guizhou province. And this is the same project for the hot spring, uh, the hot spring center. Whoa. It's, it is docked here. Can you can you see the screen? Yeah, we can still see it, David. OK, let me keep sharing. That's perfect. Yeah. OK, this is another project called Cloud Valley in Chengdu. Uh, Chengdu is this is the sister cities with Sheffield. And uh, this is another adaptive reuse project in Changzhou City. Uh, it is 4000 square meters. Um, you know the the concept is uh, is oriental enlightened thinking behind. So we have done architecture and interior together. Okay, so now let's get back to the project, uh, this panda project. Uh, the site, you know, uh, the the site is is called New Era Square. Uh, it is located in the really city center of Sheffield. I uh, this is a big roundabout, and uh, you know on the opposite side is the St Mary's uh, Church, and this is a big football club. So you guys might be very familiar with this area. And this whole development is invested by Asian, you know, Chinese background uh, group. So the project name is called New Era Development. So it's called NED Project. Uh, which is the uh, you know it's a mixed use project. Uh, the the total size is like forty thousand each square meters. Uh, it contains you know student apartment, uh, uh, you know co working space, and on the on the lower lower floors it's the retail it's F and B facility. So it's a it's a really it's a, you know a core or a new energy uh, for this uh, for this area. Before design, we believe it is crucial to have a good understanding of the culture and context. So we had a study of Sheffield. We want to know the heritage, the history of Sheffield. And um, so Sheffield, well known as a steel city, uh, you know, it's the it is a name card for the city. Um, so we're trying to, you know, um, um, borrow or to make sure, you know, our design will reflect, you know, the local context, the steel city. So now go to chapter three, it's, uh, our concept. So our concept, we have two concepts and uh, we're trying to combine these two concepts together. First one is the panda family. Why panda? The panda is from 
Chengdu, you know, it's uh, Sichuan province in China. You know, the it's, it, it is famous for its uh, Wulong Panda Nature Reserve. So next time when you visit Chengdu, you remember, you know, you definitely need to go there. And also Sheffield and Chengdu are sister cities. So Panda, you know, is cuddly, you know, peace, peaceful and, you know, and friendly. So it reveals good relationship between the two cities and two countries. And this is a sketch I I did on March this year. So I'm trying to you know bring this panda family, uh, make them to live in this uh, you know very important you know mixed use project. And also the concept too, we are trying to use stainless steel which is one of the you know most important thing for Sheffield so so the local is the heritage of steel we we picked mirror stainless steel the reason is you know it can encourage interaction with visitors and it uh, it, it can integrate with context as well. So it's a very fun, you know, vibrant. Uh, we want to create a place which can attract people to come and enjoy the time here. We study, you know, a lot about the panda. We even went to Chengdu, you know, the reserve to to have a look closely of the panda. And uh, we transfer the real giant panda into kind of low polyform, which make it abstract, attractive and uh, and good looking, you know, aesthetically. So we make the panda as romorphic, which give it personalities and uh, characteristics. design outcomes as you know this is the you know mixed use project so we very carefully uh, pick you know three locations for the panda first one you know for the baby panda it's climbing on the column here and the the panda mom sitting on the roof of this office block and another small one sitting on the bench. So apart from the panda, we also uh, designed the benches, you know, uh, for this project uh, as well. It's a landscape furniture. So first of all, it's the column panda. You know, uh, it is climbing on the tr on the trunk of the tree, trying to uh, find uh, his mom. And we used the, the software called Blender um, to create, you know, the body gesture of the panda. This is the one sitting on the bench. Uh, eating the bamboo. For, for the materiality and the color scheme study, uh, you know, we have three options. Eventually, we uh, we plan we plan to use the black, black and white, but uh, we don't think this has the influence, you know, of the local local context. So we decide to use all, a full stainless steel, but it doesn't look like a panda. It can look like a bear. Um, so this is the final, final um, picked option. So we we decide to use uh, matte paint on the black to if to express the black pattern on giant uh, giant panda body, and then the rest of its body is made of mirror stainless steel, so it can reflect you know the surroundings, the skies, the cloud. 
so uh, you know a a various you know based uh, depends on the time the weather and this is a final rendering um, to show how the panda you know come along together with this mixed use project as you can see we are trying to create a um some visual connections like this panda mom and this small panda you know they're they're looking each other this is the design part you know but the the rest part is we got it we got to make make it in china this is even more difficult during this uh, pandemic you know uh, hard time uh, so made in china advantage is very quick and it's cost effective good quality uh, rely on we need to go to the factory every week to double check uh, the details the workmanship the materials um, to make make sure you know um, the 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 on-site uh, worker is is in line and also it takes us a lot of time and energy to make this bench because every metal plate is different uh, we we use rhino grasshopper to to build a model so eventually it creates a lot of problems you know in the factory but uh, i'm glad uh, they eventually you know get it done nicely and then this is the test of the small sample um you know of, of the black paint you know this is stainless steel stainless steel you know it can reflect you know the surroundings but for the black we, are, we were not sure um whether we need to use matte paint or you know normal black paint which can also uh, you know be kind of reflective so eventually we choose the black one which um, we believe it goes well with this mirror uh, mirror stainless steel and uh, it will make this panda looks uh, be better and more visible so when everything is done in the factory around Shanghai, we came up with another problem, which is the transportation and installation. Uh, at the beginning, we were planned to go go to Sheffield with the you know with this this model, uh, the installation maker to to install it on site, but uh, due to this virus. Um, time so nobody have the visa so so you know the final um, decision is it has to be you know reassembled um, in Sheffield by the local artist so as you can see this is the normal route you know it is shipped on uh, you know on the on the sea by a month a month and uh, you know, more more or less. Uh, first of all, um, this this giant panda is four meters height. So, and the container has a you know standard size, and uh, and then we have to cut this big panda into pieces. And uh, when it's come to the site, it need to be reassembled together. You know, this is this creates um, quite a lot of problem uh, for the local artists to understand how to, you know, assemble them together. But eventually, we are very glad, you know, the client and the, you know, the the client architects on site, they they did a fantastic job. They, you know, um, that they, them, you know, reassemble it together eventually. So this is final reassembled panda four meters high. So they 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 ask the the general contractor to help to lift this panda onto the roof. You know, as you can see here, 
um, we we also worked a lot with the contractor and the client to to you know to sort out uh, you know concrete foundation, all this fixing joint, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, to make sure it is safe, you know, on the roof. So this is the install installing process on the site. So the final outcomes. So this panda from China, you know, sitting in the beautiful, you know, city in Sheffield, and I can see this, uh, you know, old and new. They have a conversation with a with a very vibrant, uh, you know, panda art installation. This is the panda. This is the roof panda. I guess uh, we we pre previously we did a uh, um, detailed visual study when people drive, you know, around this uh, roundabout, uh, the visibility. So we're trying to make sure, you know, as as more as many people as you know, to to see this panda. And this is the column panda. It's quite cute, climbing up to find his mom. And this is the bench. Um, bench is very organic, organic shape, but also in the same time we need to um, meet the the British uh, building regulation, the DDA regulation. You know, for example, this is for the wheelchair, uh, for the wheelchair user. Uh, so that means, um, you know, we we do need to talk with the local authorities, you know, from time to time. And this is another one, uh, of the deer. Uh, this one is, is standing in front of the FMB um, platform. So eventually this panda is on BBC. Can you please uh, share the video? Yes, I will. If you stop sharing your screen, David, I can I can share mine. OK. Thank you. Just give me a second. Please. OK, here we go. Sheffield has a new landmark on the skyline today. A four metre tall statue of a panda has been installed on the roof of the new era square development, marking its completion. The area is home to student flats, a Chinese supermarket, restaurants and office space. The stainless steel panda sits 97 metres above the ground on top of one of the new buildings. We wanted to build something inclusive that's welcoming to all. And I think the panda resembles that perfectly. It's warm and cuddly, non-threatening, of course. Uh, and two, uh, it is completely made out of stainless steel. And we are very proud of Sheffield's heritage in that sense. We really hope this will be something nice and bright uh, that can cheer people up. OK. That's the, that's the full story of the panda. Thank you very much, and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks so much, David. We Thank do you. have one question. We do have one question that's popped up in the chat at the moment. Hopefully, some people will submit more if they have any. Um, so the first question uh, comes from uh, Lucy Plumridge, who is an architect from HLM, and uh, she asks, "Did?" Do you consider manufacturing them in Sheffield to avoid the complexities of transporting them from China? Yes, we we did. I guess that's the client um, choice and option. Uh, prob I I remember they they did some quotation. You know, they did some quotation uh, in Sheffield, but uh, I mean, eventually they they picked to you know, to make that in China. Thanks, David. Are there any more questions? If anyone would just like to to raise the hand, we can go to you that way. 
Uh, one's just popped up from Emma England from the RIBA. Um, she says, a great story. Thanks for sharing. The panda makes me smile every time I drive around the roundabout. That's a lovely comment. Thank you. Would anyone Thank else you. like to ask David a question today? I can see some people typing. We'll just give them a couple of seconds to get their questions in. The assembly details were quite fascinating, David. We just had a um, someone commented to me saying that it looked like um, really complicated IKEA instructions. <laughs> yes, um, it did create a lot of problems. So we, I mean, eventually we we. You know, we think maybe it's a good idea to 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 build it in Sheffield. You know. Yes, understood. Right, we've had a question coming from Chun Yang Wang. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, he says, "What's the story behind the deer installation?" Oh, the the deer, uh, the deer in in Asian culture, it has uh, good meanings, uh, which is uh, means. Uh, fortune, uh, luck, you know, um, and it has quite a lot of uh, meanings on the feng shui as well. That means uh, the deer will bring the good things uh, to this uh, mixed-use project. And also we thinking about the Christmas, uh, you know, the Western culture, you know, it also has deers as well. So, so we believe that's a kind of, you know, East and, and West thing. And uh, so we just made it a deer. For me, the deer makes me think of um, of the Chatsworth estate, which is just in Derbyshire outside of Sheffield. And that has really close connections to Sheffield. When you drive through okay. that area, um, you can see the deer uh, running across the hills. So it, it's a lovely link to have because we feel very strongly about our connection to the Peak District. Uh, sure. Dan Brown has also commented that there used to be a deer park in Sheffield, not too far from the site, up in the Norfolk Park area. Are there any more questions for David this morning? Here we are. We've got one from um, Anya Sutton from Thread Architects. She asks, "Is there a reason one of the ground, one of the pandas, isn't at ground floor level?" Yes, that's the that's a good question. I think the client is still working on the details how to how to weld that, that connect that panda with the bench without destroying the bench. You know, uh, I I I hope you know it can be resolved. The detail can be resolved. You know, uh, you know, quickly, so that it can you know be installed. Yeah, I, um, we had um, an installation of um, elephants throughout the city centre a couple of years ago, and uh, there were quite a few problems with people uh, sitting their children on them, for example, and ta taking photographs. I wonder whether the pandas would be resilient to um, to having bodies sat on them. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm working with the. Uh, the client and also the guys on site, you know, trying to get that installed installed sooner than later, so the whole family can, you know, reunite it. Fantastic. And you say thank you. It's great news if there will be more pandas joining us one day. Um, Emma asks, I believe David has made other pandas in China, and are there any more planned for other developments? Um. We are. I'm talking with any other uh, other developers in China. So we are designing. Pandas. It's gonna be appear uh, in more uh, mixed use projects in China. I'm sure. Thanks, David. Any more questions this morning, please? Just the last few questions, if you have them. No, I think that's it, David. Thank you very much for your presentation this morning. It's fantastic Thank to you. see a few glimpses of Sheffield, actually, because I think a lot of us have feel like we've been cooped up inside for quite a while now. So it's nice to just to be able to get out there. Um, Thank you. Thank you for your time. And, uh, you. you know, 
thank you for organizing this this chat this sharing you know it's my pleasure you're very welcome thank you for joining us and thanks to all your colleagues at hatch okay thank you thank you linora and uh, you know all the SA, ssa members in sheffield Thank you very much. Just before everybody goes, I mentioned at the beginning our upcoming CPD sessions. Our next one is actually to be delivered by Keebles and the topic will be employment law and that will be at uh, 12 noon on the 20th of January. We're yet to advertise that one, so look out for uh, for ways to join us on the day. But uh, that's it for us, uh, for us today and um, thanks again to, to David and his team and we'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. See you. See Bye. you then. Bye. Bye-bye.